Welcome to my first ever how-to video. Today I'm going to show you how to change the memory battery inside of a Sega CD. First off, you want to get all of your tools together. I have my soldering iron, my tools, solder, tape, some wire, a replaceable battery slot, and a Sierra 232 battery. Uh, then you're going to want to remove the screws on your Sega CD. Underneath there are six screw holes. You'll want to remove all those. I've already done that. You'll want to make sure that you take any games out of your system before of course, you take the lid off. The top just comes right off. Uh, next you're going to want to remove the screws that hold down the RF shielding. Uh, there are five of them on mine. Yours may be different. Now on this one right over here in the corner, there's also a ground lead that feeds the CD unit itself, so you'll want to make sure that you hook that back up later. Next you're going to want to remove the three leads that feed the actual CD unit from the motherboard. I've already done that. Then you can remove the two screws on the cartridge slot connector and set the rest of them aside. Now the battery that causes your memory loss is right here. It's actually a 2016. I just use a 2032 because they're more common. They hold a little bit more power and they're the same exact voltage. First thing you want to do is remove the old battery. Simply break the old battery free of its tabs, or you can desolder it. I prefer to pop these free of the tabs because the tabs come in handy in a later step here. Okay, with the battery removed, by the way, I just cut that off of there. You can uh, do this one in two ways. You can solder to the tabs uh, on top. You can break those off and solder to the tabs on the bottom. I'm simply just going to pull the top portion off of this. Very neat nose. So, just like that. But we'll leave that on the board there. board over in the same location, you're actually going to see three points on this board. There's two for the positive side and one for the negative side. Well, we don't need two for the positive side. We just need one. So get your wire. Tin the wire up, obviously. down to the length you want. Don't want it to be too long because it'll interfere with things.
always like to put a little bit of tape on anything I solder. Obviously, it's got a good connection on there, but I don't want any shorts, especially since this is our battery. Let's so go ahead and put a little piece of tape on there. Make sure it's not going to interfere with anything. And then I'm going to go ahead and set the board back in the actual housing. Of course I don't need all this wire so I'm going to trim it back a little bit. in the other sides of the wires. Of course I used red on the positive and white on the negative. So Trimming again. You don't want to get your battery holder. Some of them actually contact a little bit different. Uh, obviously, my positive's on this side, negative's on that side. This may not be the way you solder, it's just the way I solder. works for me and may not work for you. Now always double check your connections, make sure that you've got a good solid connection, double check the bottom of the board, make sure you put everything in the right place, make sure that the positive is on there good, the negative is on there good. Always bend out these tabs just a little bit so that they mount flush a little bit better. I'm actually going to hot glue this to the bottom of the case here. Take a little dab of hot glue, put it on the tab. Push down the battery holder. Simply install your battery. 